person. I see. Um, how big of a difference or how much more enjoyable has it been not having to kind of play catch up and have a whole off season kind of lead up to this point right before the first preseason game for you? Yeah, it's made me a lot more comfortable. Um, this is the first time in my career I've had the same D-line coach uh, for consecutive years. So I really know what's expected of me, how he wants uh, me to play. And it really just let me go into this off season and know exactly what I needed to focus on to get better. Um, and then obviously not coming in late um, allows me to have a better grasp on the playbook and just play a little more free. You're no stranger to fighting for a spot. Yeah. Um, when you look at the numbers that the Bills have, I mean, what, how does that affect the guys that are in the, in the D-line room knowing that not everybody's going to be here come September? Yeah, I mean, no matter where you're at and how deep the team is, you don't look at the numbers, at least I don't. Um, just because if you get caught up in the numbers and you're worried about where you're playing, when you're getting reps and all that, um, I learned a while back just when you're in there, make some plays and let uh, everything else play out. Don't worry about the numbers. They'll take care of themselves. You mentioned having an idea of where you wanted to improve uh, heading into this season. What are some of those areas? Uh, my biggest thing was uh, being more consistent with my get off, um, getting off the line of scrimmage. Uh, I noticed I went back and watched all the film from last year, and when I was getting off the ball well, I was making plays, playing better. And when uh, my get off was inconsistent, uh, I, w I played inconsistent. That was the biggest thing. And just working on uh, redefining my pass rush moves, just getting more comfortable, knowing the situations, things like that. How much does it help when, you know, we, asked, we were talking to Leslie about 10 days ago last week, I believe it was, he was asked about, you know, well, Justin Zimmer might be, you know, in some cases, a forgotten guy. And Leslie comes up and says he, he's not forgotten among us. Mm -hmm. How important is that in, the, in, in maybe the impact and the relationship that you developed with him and, 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 and the staff last year? Yeah, I have tons of respect for our staff, and they show the same thing back to me. Um, I really appreciate how with our staff, you know, you go out there and if you make plays, you get more opportunities. Um, and that's not the case everywhere. Um, sometimes it's based on draft status, how much you pay, you're paid. But I really like our staff because, you know, you go out there and you make your plays and they're going to reward you for it. What's been your impressions of Star Latula? You didn't get a chance to play with him last year, seeing him up close. Now really seems to be getting into football shape. And mm -hmm. what's he like in the room and out on the field? Yeah, Star's a great guy. Uh, he's fun to be around. He's a vet. He's going to handle himself very professionally, but like he's going to joke around with us sometimes. He's a good guy to have in a room. And on the field, you watch him against the run, and he's just like an immovable object, and he's a beast. What has F.A. Obata brought to the defensive line room? F.A. brings a lot of energy every day. Uh, he's a great guy to be around, really fun. Um, and then he's a great pass rusher. You know, he's always working his hands. He's doing stuff before and after practice to improve, um, especially when you figure where he's came from, not playing football until when he did, and how much he's, he works on his craft. You know, it, uh, feed, everybody else kind of feeds off of that. And, you know, when you have guys that bring energy, it makes the whole room better. How much do these preseason games, something that wasn't there last year, help someone like you who, who's trying to battle to, to sneak in here? Yeah, preseason games are fun because just you get to play against somebody else. And then, you know, sometimes when you're playing against your own team, you start to know these guys like these moves and different plays we know and everything. So when you go and play against another team, it's big just to get some film out there, make some plays against somebody who's not on your own team. And uh, if you are somebody who gets cut, you make some plays in preseason games, you might latch on somewhere else. I know you're a Michigan guy, right? Yeah. Um, a lot of people coming to the game this week? Yeah, I do have quite a few uh, friends and family coming to the game, old coaches and stuff like that, so it'll be exciting for me. And they obviously probably weren't able to see you at all last year, right? So when was the last time yeah. they, they were, you had fans in the stands for you? Uh, I don't know. It's been a while. My parents try to come to every game, but, I mean, before last year, I hadn't really played in much. I played in some preseason games, so my parents would came. My wife comes to the games. But, yeah, in terms of, like, having a lot of friends and family at a game, it's been a while. When you mentioned building those areas of improvement off watching all that film, was that right after the season ended, or what was kind of the timeline of when you sat down to go through all that? Yeah, I usually I'll take a couple weeks after the season, just kind of decompress, try and not think about football, and then um, after probably two, three weeks, I went down or sat down and got like a spreadsheet. I went through all my plays, <laughs> got what like what position I was playing, what our call was, what like pass rush move, what run stunt. I kind of uh, graded it out, saw what I did well, saw what I didn't do well, 
and then kind of put that as my areas of focus for the offseason. How big is the spreadsheet? Um, I think I had like 300 and some plays total. So yeah, around that. Was the New England play circle? Nah, it wasn't. I mean, it was a good play, but you know, there's always things you can improve on. And I, I try not to focus on that play too much just because you know, I don't want one play to define my career. Has uh, Oliver ever let you take a ride on one of his horses? <laughs> I've never asked. I've never even rid a horse. Um, I think it'd be it'd be an experience for me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do that either. <laughs> as, as a young player, uh, watching him develop and work. I mean, what's your impressions of him with you know how he kind of works in his craft and just being around him now for a little over a year? Yeah, it brings an intensity to the game. If you watch him out there on the field, uh, you can tell in practice. You know, he's going to bring it every play. And uh, he's really receptive to Coachy and Coach Jacques and how they want to teach him and what they want um, him to accomplish. And I'm sure he'll accomplish big things if he just keeps working at it like he does. And you know, he brings that intensity every play.